Hello again to everyone. I am your host, Christelle, and welcome to another K Properties house tour. Today, we will be featuring this brand new, modern, contemporary house located at Maria Luisa in Cebu. So before we start, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will be updated whenever we release new videos. Also, don't forget to check us out on our social media accounts, K Properties, on Facebook and on Instagram. For so long, I was living my life. Oh, so wrong. Always numb in my mind. Battled on. Building scars from the night. So far gone. I was blind. So now that I found what I was looking for, I'm shining a light on the dark. let's start so as you can see we have a very wide frontage and over there is your main gate okay before we go inside let us um, appreciate the beautiful facade of the property you can see some vertical louvers on your windows and you can see that this is a modern contemporary design because of the clean lines and the wooden elements on your exterior so you have your front landscape garden and then you have your main gate here which is a sliding gate it's very heavy and you can still see the uh, wooden accent of the gate okay so let's go inside as you are go inside the main entry gate, you can see the huge carport, which can easily fit four to six cars. So why did I say four to six cars? Because um, if you have small cars, then you can fit six small cars here. But if you have SUVs, then I think this can fit comfortably fit four SUVs. So uh, allow me to point out that this property is still under construction it is 90% complete so if you see um, some construction tools and materials so please bear with us because they are still doing some finishing touch so in here just imagine this is your pocket garden well manicured pocket garden and on the side we have your beautiful side uh, landscape garden so in this area we have the maid's quarter and the driver's quarter so this is your maid's quarter it has its own toilet and bath and this one is your driver's quarter with its own toilet and bath so it is locked currently locked right now because this they are currently using it as their stock room for the construction tools and materials so in here, please follow me. So in here, we have an access to your kitchen. This is a staircase that leads you to your kitchen. So this is your service area. You can also do your laundry here. And this is a stock room. Actually, this can also be used as another room for the helper. So, just <laughs> bear with us with all the construction materials <laughs> and tools. 
So again, this is your staircase that leads you to the kitchen. So let's go back. Let's go to the swimming pool first. So let us cover the outside portion of this property first. So this again is your carport. So, okay. So now we climb up the stairs so that we can see the swimming pool. So as you can see, they have this uh, side lights or light fixtures on the side of the walls so that it is well lit at night you won't stumble if uh, it is dark at night so as you can see you still have these lights on the side up to this part okay so from my point of view from here you can see the main door or the main entry door in your garage okay so we are going to we are now heading to the swimming pool so allow me to point out this beautiful uh, exterior design again of the house so as you can see we have this uh, wall stone cladding and again your wood accents on the wall so this is your lanai or your garden that leads you to the swimming pool okay so from here you have an access to the living area and the dining area and you have a very spacious lanai over here so this lovely swimming pool is around four feet deep and it has a space over here for your sunbeds, your outdoor tables and chairs so that your family can hang out. And you can uh, do your gathering here or celebration. So you can have your barbecue, uh, barbecue grill over here. And again, set up some tables and chairs for your uh, small party. So okay so that is your shower for the swimming pool uh, okay so in here you can see you have another pocket garden so we can see a lot of greens in this uh, house which makes it very relaxing so you can add your plants here if you're a plantita you can um, add more plants in this area Okay, so in your lanai area, again, you have an access to the dining room and uh, the dining area and the living area. So it is an open uh, concept living area. We'll just go to the main entry door. Before we go inside, let's just use the main entry door. Okay, so come and follow me. Hey, allow me to point out again this wooden uh, ceiling panels which is very nice and you have your ceiling fans here so that it would wouldn't be so hot especially like this in a uh, in the afternoon okay so let us go back to the main entry door so i love that they have a separate entrance for the guests there if they just want to go directly to where the party is going and you have your main entry door here for the homeowners okay so this is your main entry door so this is a double entry door please go in as you can see we have an open space uh, living concept so your this is an ample space for your foyer 
and it is divided the area is divided to your uh, living area and your dining area so come and follow me so this is where you can put your uh, this is your living area so this is where you can put your couch your entertainment area you can put some sofa set here and your uh, TV over there so it has a provision already it has an outlets already for your cable and your uh, TV so as you can see on your living area you have a view a lovely view of the swimming pool okay so on top of your living area we have this cove ceiling and recess lights that sets up the mood of the place okay so in here obviously before you go to your kitchen area this is your dining area so i believe this can fit comfortably fit a 10 to 12 seater dining table so it is really a good space a huge space actually for a dining area so in here you gotta love this uh, shelves or racks that divides your hallway or entryway to your dining area so you have some privacy right so these are your racks you can put some decorations there or some figurines it's really up to you so from your dining area you have your formal kitchen wow they have a really nice kitchen so you have your gourmet kitchen we have an island countertop if you are into youtube or you want to do youtube uh youtube videos then you can do it here because it's really really nice your kitchen is nice so you have some backsplash here overhead cupboards which is wooden again then you have your cabinetries below and you have two sinks so it is not yet installed again because this is still um under construction or it is still 90 percent complete so as you can see wow you have a lot of storage for your kitchen you have a lot of cabinets here so i think this is where you can put your refrigerator and then some stove there and your oven over there that is a provision for the exhaust okay so again you have you still have a cove ceiling and down lights on top so this property has an auxiliary kitchen so it is a pretty pretty nice kitchen because uh, it still has storage backsplash and some sliding windows for ventilation diba? para hindi mabaho if nagluluto ka lumalabas yung uh, baho and then you have your uh, cabinets cabinet trees below again and a lot of storage and this one is your pantry so uh, okay okay so this one is your pantry so I, you still have a lot of space to put your uh, foods food and other goods okay so again this one is your access to the maid's quarter driver's quarter and your carport so if you have helpers if um, you don't want them to go inside your house so they can just go there if they want if you want them to cook for you and you want don't want them to go inside the house so this is a nice idea so that they can access the property without going inside the house okay so this is a provision for the cctv okay so let's go back inside and check the other area of this uh, ground floor so this uh, space here leads you back to your main entry and hallway so 
you gotta lock all the doors <laughs> that are wooden. So this is the first bedroom of this house. So as you can see, it is a finished unit with an AC inverter. You have your uh, walk-in, I, I mean you have your built-in closet. You have a lot of windows for ventilation and again, allow me to point out this louvers which blocks the harsh rays of the sun so like this time it is in the afternoon 3 p.m so um the sun is um uh, the louvers serves as your uh, deterrent for the harsh rays of the sun so you have some provision here for your uh what do you call this the cable and you have some outlets for your tv Okay, so each bedroom has its own toilet and bath. So you have an enclosed shower, a shampoo niche here, window for ventilation, and your rain shower. And you have a sink, cabinetries for your toiletries, and a toilet bowl with a bidet and a mirror and another niche here for your shampoo niche sorry okay okay so just a quick overview follow me as we go to the powder room so this property sits on a lot area of 589 square meters and a floor area of 600 and 22 square meters. It is a four bedroom unit with its own and suite toilet and bath and it has a maid's quarter and driver's quarter with its own toilet and bath. A powder room, a huge balcony upstairs on the second floor and a lovely swimming pool. So this is your powder room. So just a basic powder room with a toilet bowl and a sink behind the door it's the sink and the vanity mirror okay so that is your powder room so i think that basically covers your ground floor area now we go on to we move on to the second floor so you have some wooden and glass components on your staircase awning windows on the wall so you have a very huge common area for your second floor so in here we have a huge balcony with glass railings so there's a sliding glass door that leads you to your huge balcony so this is your balcony so in here we have a view of your swimming pool so actually you can still uh, set up some chairs outdoor tables and chairs here if you have some celebration or if you want to um, entertain your guests you can put some outdoor furnitures here and then in here the balcony goes all through the front portion of your property and in here you have the view of the subdivision road and your community okay so let's go back and check the rooms of this house So, I love that it has a very huge common area for your family. So you can put some, uh, you can put the TV there because there are outlets, the TV, some sofa, your entertainment room or entertainment area could be here. So it's up to you really. That's what, uh, that's what's nice if you buy a brand new property so that you can choose what furnitures and what appliances 
you put in the house okay so let's go and check the rooms so you have a uh, long hallway to your bedroom and you have this uh, awning windows glass awning windows and you have this uh, it has it, it is a bench with a storage below so everything is brand new so this is your master's bedroom but before we go there let us check the other bedrooms first first so again they have another storage for your clothes maybe or things so that it is clean and neat and this is your second room okay this is the second room that i will be showing to you so basically same design it has uh, lots of windows long glass paneled windows and you have another ac cove ceiling with recess lights and an end suite toilet and bath so it is nice that each room has a built-in closet okay so still has an enclosed glass shower shower rain shower uh, shampoo niche there another shampoo niche here a vanity mirror a sink and some cabinet below the sink another bidet toilet bowl okay so basically this is your second bedroom so you gotta love the wood accents of the house okay so trivia for you guys wood as a building material the uh, there is a study that the earthy scent of it changes your mood so it is nice that you can see a lot of wood elements in this house so again this is your third bedroom so a finished unit with provision for your cable outlets for your tv and other appliances picture windows picture sliding windows for ventilation and you can see the louver here vertical louvers that blocks the rays of the sun a ceiling again a cove ceiling with recess lights and you still have this beautiful built-in closets and an end suite toilet and bath again it's basically the same with the other rooms a sink vanity mirror cabinet bidet toilet bowl and an enclosed glass shower with a uh, rain shower type so let's now go to the last room the master's bedroom let's save the best for less okay. so this this is your master's bedroom wow you have a very very huge master's bedroom so this can easily fit a king size bed you can even put a couch a couch from your uh, a bed king size bed and then a couch and then you can put your tv here there's a provision for your cable and outlets for your appliances so we have this i love this area because this can serve as your uh, office area so you can put some divider maybe so that you'll have privacy and you have this awning windows so that you don't need to turn on the ac if you want if you want to save energy so um okay so this can be your study area or your office area which is a nice touch to your master's bedroom so the master's bedroom has a huge and sweet toilet and bath so this is your walk-in closet so this is different from the other bedrooms because it is uh, much bigger it has a lot 
of storage for your clothes in your other stuff. So behind the walk-in closet, you can see the AC. It is already included if you purchase this property. So you have your drop ceiling here, very well lit. Okay, so that is basically your walk-in closet. So this is your his and her sink. You can put your vanity mirror here. Um, this is an enclosed, again, an enclosed glass shower area with your rain type shower and your toilet bowl with a bidet. Okay, you have two shampoo niche on the side of your shower area, which is nice. Okay, so let's go back. I think that basically covers the end suite toilet and bath of your master's bedroom. Okay, so again, I think I haven't mentioned earlier or I haven't um, highlighted that this property is inside Maria Luisa. Maria Luisa is an upscale subdivision. This is compared, I guess, to the Beverly Hills. More of the Beverly Hills in Cebu. So don't be confused because there is a Beverly Hills subdivision in Cebu, but I think this subdivision is where the mansions or most of the rich and the affluent people live. Okay, so it is very nice to live in this neighborhood. So, okay, let's go back to the common area. Okay, so that ends our house tour. If you are interested with this property or if you know someone who might be interested to purchase this house or if you have some questions, contact us on the details below. And if you are a property owner, if you want to help us market your property, if you enlist it with us and we'll be very happy to help you market your property. Before I let you go, make sure to subscribe to your YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will be updated whenever we release new videos. Also, don't forget to check us out on our Facebook accounts, K Properties, on Facebook and on Instagram. Once again, I am your host, Crystal of K Properties, helping you find your dream home. Bye, guys!